Welcome back to another review by Mega Train Lover. Today we are having a look at another locomotive and as you can see it's by Hornby and you can probably tell from the outline but it is a Bully Pacific. More specifically it is a Merchant Navy class rebuilt version and this particular one is numbered 35014 and it's called Nederland Line. If we turn to the side it, its product code is R3566. It's in British Rail early so it's got the early emblem there and as you can see it is in BR Green and it's a rebuilt Merchant Navy class uh, Netherland line and it's A462 so which means it's a Pacific. Now if we turn to the back you can see there's tons of information about the class so these were first introduced in 1941 and when first introduced they basically had a um, an air a streamlined design well, not necessarily streamlined it was more air smoothing um, if you'd like to see what these looked like unrebuilt uh, go check out my review of Torrington which is a West Country class uh, both of them both the Merchant Navy and then there were so there were three classes of the Bully Pacifics there was the there were these the Merchant Navy Merchant Navy class uh, then there was the West Country class and then the Battle of Britain class now the West Country and Battle of Britain classes were the same exactly the same it's just for publicity reasons the Southern Railway split them um, but those two were collectively known as Light Pacifics the Merchant Navy class were older um, and they were a lot heavier than the um, Light Pacifics and that's basically what they looked like. They had a very boxy shape. Now they weren't very reliable um, because they had several features such as they had chain driven valve gear um, which tended to be very 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 unreliable. Um, the air smooth design uh, also increased maintenance costs because you had to you know if you wanted to repair this engine you had to remove the panels which was very you know very very cost costly and you know <laughs> Not, just just not friendly at all, uh, not labour friendly at all. So in the 1950s British Rail decided instead of scrapping these engines they decided to rebuild them into a much more conventional shape and they also replaced bullied chain driven valve gear with conventional uh, wall shards motion as you can see here. And that's basically what happened now. In now only 30 merchant navies were built and all of them were rebuilt between 1956 and 59. Uh, they later started rebuilding the West Country and Battle of Britain classes um, but not all of those were rebuilt because by the time um, the last of those were rebuilt the modernization program was well underway. Um, now, 11 of the Merchant Navies have been preserved and they were withdrawn in 1967, which was the last year of Southern Railway Steam. This particular loco, 35014 Nederland Line, um, it was rebuilt in 1956, well, between May and July of 1956, and it was in, and it was uh, based at Nine Elms which is near Victoria Station in Battersea and in 1964 it was transferred to, Ray to Weymouth and then it stayed there until it was withdrawn in March 1967 and it was scrapped the same year. So it's a good thing that 11 of them have been preserved um, and one of them I've, I did actually see in real life it's a uh, clan line um, who's obviously clan lines a very very regular performer on the main line. Now then, enough history, let's put the box to one side. Now, locomotive isn't actually in the box, um, but I really like this box. It also says DCC ready, but it has been DCC fitted as well. And uh, this is the newer style uh, Hornby packaging, which is a lot better than the old polystyrene box. But anyway, let's put the box to one side. And the locomotive is right here. And that's the engine. Is its tender now. Uh, one thing I must point out is that the when you get it brand new, the when you get it new, the locomotive and the tender are actually permanently coupled together uh, by means of a wire, and then this bar here on the tender, which you just unscrew 
Uh, now, I've split the engine and the tender because it's a lot easier to handle. Because I'm sure you agree that this is a huge engine. Uh, let's have a look at the engine first in much greater detail. Oh my gosh. Just look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, just the detail on it is, wow. There's no worse to be honest. Sprung buffers on both the engine and the tender as well. Just look at the wheels. Now, when rebuilding, uh, they did actually keep the older, uh, I think it's called box box wheels, um, because simply because they worked. Some some features were kept on from the original Merchant Navies. Uh, the boiler is still the same. The boiler was very reliable, um, but it's just the valve, the original valve gear, which caused huge problems, and of course the the, the, the streamlined casing. If I just look at the old connecting rods and coupling rods, absolutely amazing. And there's its nameplate, so it's Merchant Navy class and Netherland line. And I really like, really love that flag in the middle. It's a really nice touch. And there's the whistle. The whistle on these Pacifics was positioned um, some distance from the driver, as you can see. Even uh, I think this was carried on from the unrebuilt versions because I saw there was a on the unrebuilt versions there was a cutout um, where the dome and the safety valves were located, and the whistle as well. And then, wow, that the chimney is just massive. <laughs> um, these were very nice. These were very good steamers. Um, really, really nice. Uh, this pretty pipe at the front uh, comes in the detail pack, so I've added that myself. It's got a very characteristic look of a rebuilt uh, Bully Pacific. Um, but wow. And there's the shed code, which reads 70A. Which I'm not entirely sure which one it is, but um, if you do know which one was 70A, then please let me know by all means. You get the lights at the front, they don't work, but um, obviously, you know, you can see they're very tiny, so <laughs> there isn't uh, much of a. I mean, I'm sure you can make them work, you know, if you're really, really skilled, but, um, but they do look really, really nice. Uh, if we turn to the other side, Wow, just just wow. Now you can tell why I've split the engine with the tender. Holding the two together would be an absolute nightmare. Um, well, for review purposes at least. But uh, you get separately fitted handrails running along both sides of the model. And wow, just oh, there's no word really. I just love the wheels. Just, just how be beautiful they are. Oh, wow. Um, you do have to be careful with some detail because it is really, it's really well detailed. Um, some detail is quite fragile, such as these injector pipes under the cab. You have to be careful. And there's a little wire which connects to the tender because the decoder actually goes in the tender. Which is a lot better because um, it means there's more room for the for the decoder. So let's look in the cab now. If we look in the cab, you can see it's not painted, but um, you can see there is detail there. Um, however, it's not as impressive as as other models, but it's still still better than nothing. The cab roof vent doesn't open, but um, that's okay. Uh, this is quite. This is actually quite an old tooling. I think this is. This was actually the first Ormby model manufactured in China. I do believe the uh, mer rebuilt Merchant Navy. Or I think it was the rebuilt Battle of Britain, West Country. Not too sure. Um, but anyway, one of these was was the first model which was produced in China in 1995. Wow. And here's its power classification: 8P, which is. Wow, 8p. That's very, very powerful. That's just, that's literally one below an, a 9f. <laughs> wow. Just imagine how powerful these must have been in, in the, back in the day. 
And here's the rear truck, which does swing about quite a bit, but that's okay. Well, truck. Why am I, why am I, I'm using American term now. Um, rear boat, rear, what do I say? Rear, rear axle, yeah. Rear axle. Although, I mean, I suppose you can refer to this as a truck, but I don't know. Truck's quite an American term. <laughs> uh, you get riveting detail where you're meant to have rivets, which is quite unusual because, um, these were welded a lot. A lot of the when these were built, they were welded, uh, which was which also caused problems because back in the 40s, welding technology was brand new. It was very much you know unheard of. But um, so we've had a look at the engine. Now let's have a look at the tender, which itself is really well really well detailed uh, there's the bar which connects to the locomotive and as you can see there's two settings so you can make it closer but um, for train set running you should put it in the furthest one uh, towards the end uh, the coal there is removable so you can put your own coal in there wow I mean there's a lot of fragile detail, especially these um, small step ladders here. You have to be really careful. Uh, you get the ladders at the back of the tender here, which lead up to the water filler cap. Sprung buffers, as I already mentioned before. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. You have to be really careful with some of the detail here. Um, you get the early, British Rail early emblem there. So I think this this must have been from I think this is in as rebuilt condition. So I think it was in fifty seven that they introduced the the late crest logo of British Rail. Um so this must so this um must be in as rebuilt condition. well not as in, you know, as soon as it came out of I think I think they rebuilt them in Brighton Works. Um but you know, this is what it must have looked like when out shopped. Yeah, from Brighton Works, but wow, it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, you do get a NEM coupling um, at the back with a small tension lock, which is really nice. You get lights on the back as well, which again don't work, but I, I suppose you can make them work um, if you're that you know if you're that serious of a, of a modeler. But wow, overall, and there's that's that's where the plug uh, from the engine. Um, goes into because the because it's a code that's in the tender obviously but well the on the whole I'm just very impressed with this model. However looks may be one thing. How about performance? So I'm just going to um attach her tender and we'll see how she runs. Stop So here we have the Hornby rebuilt Merchant Navy class on the track and oh wow <laughs> she just looks so imposing so beautiful now anyway let's select her number which is number 18 and off she goes away she goes wow just look at that so the way the, the the coupling connection was, just the whole motion is just turning. It's just absolutely brilliant. So you're running so smoothly as well. Now let's get a few shots of her passing by. No words. So 
So just to conclude this video, she is highly highly recommended by me, especially if you are a Southern Region modeler, you have to get her. She is a must. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, the detail, performance, everything. She's just amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.